Hey, welcome back guys, this is Crafty Fox, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build this one-to-one -one scale CSX EMD SD40-2. And this is my first EMD locomotive in one-to-one -one scale. And usually I would build stuff in 1.5 to one scale, so here is the big uh, papa right here. The original SD40-2, and I just converted it into a one-to-one -one scale. So this is what it looks like, some new things for this one. I decided I should move the trapdoor usually like before in the last one to one scale tutorial I had it in the middle. But you know, to make it more accurate, I just have like two different sections like that on the sides. And I'm using a banners for the CSX logo because I can't really do a 3D effect. So that's why I'm doing that. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy the build. And yeah, let's get started. So, first off, we're going to grab some materials. We'll take out another brick block, dark oak bun, dark oak fence gate, oak fence gate, oak uh, trap door, dark oak trap door, lapis lazuli, nether brick stairs. Uh, what else can we grab? And that's it for right now, I guess. So we'll take out nether brick block. We're going to make a row of three in the front. Dark oak fence gate in the middle. Open that up. Dark oak buns on either side. Then on top, we'll add a uh, oak fence gate so that there's two here. And they're going to be opened up so that they're facing each other. Their side, same thing. And we'll add in an oak fence gate in the middle. And we'll open that up. And on the sides, we'll add in an oak trap door right above the fence gates. Then we'll add a uh, nether brick. Uh, block we're gonna make it so it's gonna be uh, six blocks long so one two three four five and six like that then we'll add in um, upside down nether brick stairs right side up upside down right side up upside down right side up on the side of that and the other side will do the same thing just alternate between upside down and right side up Next, we'll add in two nether brick stairs right side up. And then four upside down. So one, two, three, then four. Okay. The other side, same thing. One, two, three, and four. Then we'll add in again in the middle six blocks long nether brick blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then three blocks wide nether brick block here. And then we'll add in the upside down stairs, right side up, and keep on doing that till we reach the middle. Other side, we'll do the same thing. Then we'll add dark oak fence gate in the middle, open that up, dark oak buns on the sides. Oak fence gates on the edges, and they're gonna face each other. Oak fence gates on the other side, do the same thing. And oak fence gate in the middle, and oak trap doors right above the fence gates like that. Then we'll take out a nether brick slab and we'll add that right in the middle like that. Go in the front and add it in the middle as well I think like that. Then behind it we'll take out a yellow concrete. We'll make it two blocks tall. Then we'll take lapis azuli and we're gonna make it two blocks tall and three blocks long. And the side here we'll add in an oak uh, slab and then lapis is only five blocks long, so one, two, three, four, five. Then up here we'll add in two. Other side we'll do the same thing. And add in two. Then we'll add a uh, oak fence. I mean an oak slab right there, and a dark prism rain slab right behind it. And then blue glass pane and black concrete in the middle. Add another black concrete behind that. And inside of this, we'll add yellow glass pane in the front, followed by two blue glass panes. Other side, we'll do the same thing. Then we'll take um, dark prism rain stairs, and we're gonna have an upside down one facing the front side of this. And then two of them, so it's facing the middle. And then on top of that, add in two. Dark prismarine stairs facing outwards. And at the top of this is going to be smooth quartz um, 
slab like that. And then an iron weighted pressure plate with a lapazuli in the front of that. Then we'll take out birch sign, stone button, warped button, uh, acacia button, oak button. It's a lot of buttons for sure. Uh, black stone button and a birch button. All right, so we'll add in stone button in the front, that birch signs on either side. Warp button in the front, to the side we'll add acacia button, uh, then birch button, and then two warp buttons, and on top here we'll add two oak buttons, and then an acacia button to the side of that. Other side we'll do the same thing, just copy it, how we did the other side, like that. Great. Next we'll add in um, some more to the back side so there's going to be lapis lazuli uh, at the bottom of this like that and this is going to go all the way to the front like that then in the back we'll add three blocks tall yellow concrete and then we'll make a two block tall lapis lazuli all the way to the front then we'll add lapis lazuli here and then we'll add two bedrocks. And then um, in the back, we'll add five blocks long bedrock and lapis lazuli for the rest. Then we'll take out dark prismarine stairs, nether brick stairs, blue carpet, warp fence gate, daylight detector, uh, warp trap door, warp button, and a warp pressure plate so there's a lot of detail on the roof even for one to one scale so we'll add in the warp button first then two warp trap doors a warp pressure plate two daylight detectors warp fence gate close that up and actually we can actually turn these daylight detectors blue and then we'll add in three daylight detectors spaced apart make them blue and uh, blue carpet above the rest of the roof so it it's all blue on top. Next, we can add in uh, these patterns. So this is going to be oak slab and then um, birch slab. So there's going to be three oak slabs spaced apart and birch slabs in between like that. And the other side, it's going to go all the way, well, all the way to the front. So that's going to be oak slab, every other block. And then birch slabs in between, like that. Then we'll add in uh, to the back a birch fence gate, warp button, white glass pane, and yellow glass pane. So add in the middle uh, birch fence gate, open that up with a warp button underneath, then to the side, white glass pane, and then yellow glass pane at the top of the bottom. Other side, same thing. Then to the side of these uh, bedrock blocks, we'll add in uh, black stained glass panes, as well as these vents in the front as well. Other side, same thing. Then we'll grab our dark prism marine stairs. We'll add upside down here, and then two nether brick stairs, and then a cornered uh, dark prism marine stairs. Other side, we'll do the same thing. You know, let's add blue carpet for the rest on top, right on the sides. Next, we can add in, um, on this side, it's going to be a blower duct. So that's going to be a prismarine wall, a wart fence, and dark prismarine slabs. So, and also dark prismarine stairs. This should actually be moved. Sorry, I have to change this little thing. So we'll add in dark prismarine slab here, then a dark prismarine stairs and slabs for the rest. Then we'll add two blocks tall. I believe, yeah, two blocks tall of these prismarine walls. And then a wart fence right there in that corner. Okay. Then we'll take out a birch bun, add one here. Add one before, or actually right underneath this bedrock. And then for three of them spaced apart. 
other side we'll do the same thing just three of them spaced apart and then one is it underneath the bedrock block <laughs> let me check okay so it's going to be one here and then another one so that's two of them spaced apart and in the back we'll add in a smooth quartz with an acacia sign at the bottom and acacia sign on the other side as well like that then we'll add in a nether brick a fence nether brick slab and dark oak trapdoor so we'll add two nether brick fences and we'll add it every other block and then up here we'll go up diagonally add another brick fence then we'll go to the back and we'll add three dark oak trap doors and then nether brick slabs all the way across like that as for the other side it's going to be two nether brick fences in the back then every other block to reach the front where we're going to go up diagonally then we'll add in dark oak trap doors all the way across the side of this right over here to the back like that okay so next we'll have to add in uh, the CSX logo using banners so to do that we'll go to our loom and uh, we will grab uh, what is this even I think it's a blue banner so blue we'll need a blue banner uh, blue dye and then yellow dye so first off to make the C we'll take yellow dye blue banner add across the top row put it back in bottom row and then to the middle left hand side we're gonna make it thick and chunky and then we'll add in a blue dye board around it and that's how you make the C Okay, next banner it's gonna be the S, so take blue banner, yellow dye, make top half, put it back in, bottom half, put it back in, and then we'll make a line across diagonally, put it back in, and then a border using blue. That's how you make the S. Next banner is gonna be the X. So for this banner you wanna make there's gonna be an X thing right over here, but don't use it. We're gonna use these ones individually diagonally so that they're thicker and then we'll add in a blue uh, dye border around it that's how you make the X All right got CSX now we're just gonna add that right underneath this vent CSX like that very beautiful looking other side same thing CSX like that very nice okay so now we have to add thickness to this so we'll take a blue glass pane we'll add that to whatever the side of this is all the sides uh, whatever block is explosive <laughs> exposed of lapsulazuli fill that in with using these blue glass panes like that just to add a little more uh, thickness to this so it should look like this all right and in the back this fence game needs to be opened up all right so after we're done with that we'll take uh, dark oak fence gate, dark oak trap door, another brick fence, and an oak fence. And we'll add the front railing, so oak fence here, both sides, with a dark oak trap door on top. Then behind the trap door is going to be another brick fence and a dark oak fence gate. Other side will do the same thing, like that. So, yeah, that's actually pretty much it on how to build the one to one scale CSX SD40 2 in Minecraft. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, hit the like button down below and the notification bell if you want to see uh, more videos like this in the future. Uh, subscribe if you had already and I'll see you guys in the next one.